Glad you're here. Thank you for always availing your time to watch my content. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to warm up your SMTP server that is in MailWiz. So the latest version of MailWiz has a new feature whereby it is allowing you to warm up your SMTP uh, automatically. And just to give you a, a brief of um, what warming up is, you realize for delivery server, after you've set it up, it's totally new. It is not known to other service provider. So it needs to be warmed up, which is the gradual process of establishing a reputation as a legitimate email sender in the eyes of other internet service providers. So how it works is when an ISP observes email sending coming from a new or cold or recently domain IP address, they will take notice of this and immediately begin evaluating uh, the traffic coming from that IP. So internet service providers spam filters look at uh, volume as a significant factor when determining whether or not you're sending spam. And uh, because of this, uh, I recommend that you begin sending low to moderate volume, eventually working your way up to larger volumes. This gives the receiving email providers a chance to closely observe your sending habits, the way uh, your customers treat your emails when they receive them from you. So, it's also worth noting that most uh, uh, reputation systems only store data for 30 days. So, you should not go um, 30 days or more without sending on any given IP. So, if, if for any chance you'll be, uh, you want to be dormant, don't be dormant for more than one month. If you do, then you will need to warm it up again. This is why we, we recommend time frame for warming up a delivery server is 30 days. So, how it works is um, it, when you go to your mailers, on your left, you'll see delivery servers. And then you'll see warm-up plans. So, you want to click on warm-up plans. And then you want to create a, a create new. You want to give it a, a name. A name is uh, for identifying uh, the warm-up plan that you're applying in this, because you can have several options. Uh, we can say something like 30 days uh, warm up and then uh, you want to determine the sending quarter the sending quarter type if you click on this you'll be able to see uh, mailers are telling us the warm up plan sending quarter type the kind of Quarter again is which the generator schedule quarter will be applied. If hourly, we will take consideration applying the delivery server um, hourly quarter. So, what that means is, um, how many how many emails do you want uh, the system to determine? whether it will be on hourly basis on daily basis or on monthly basis uh, i would recommend for start we work with hourly basis and then the sending count the release is telling us is the warmer plan sending count this is the number of generated schedules based on which the delivery server quota will um, uh, will apply so per hour how many emails do you want the system to send out for instance say when you're starting out you want only something like 10 emails to go out per hour or five emails to go out per hour 
then you are asked um, what is the strategy that you want to apply is it linear or um, or is it uh, exponential so exponential is um, on incremental basis but linear is on constant figure so let's work with the uh, exponential and then the sending limit is uh, the number of emails to be sent so based on the limit type chosen this number can be uh, a total of emails sent through all the sending or the last sendings will have the exact number so for instance if um, say for instance you want to start off with a list of uh, uh, 5000 so for this list of 5,000, each email will be, um, five emails will be sent on uh, hourly basis until the entire list is exhausted. Then um, the sending incremental percentage, how do you want uh, the increment to be uh, worked out? So uh, maybe you want an increment of uh, uh, five percent or ten percent for that matter. So let's work with ten percent, and then we have um, uh, the element of sending uh, limit type. Uh, based on this selection, you send either a number of emails calculated through the schedule, uh, which is equal to um, equal with the sending limit, or the last sendings which uh, reach. Um, the limit value so basically um, this 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 element is talking about um, how many emails do you want in total uh, to be in that warm-up shape so in that case I'll leave it at uh, total and then uh, the next thing I want to do is uh, save on this so you have uh, been able to save your uh, your warm-up schedule and this is how it looks like so uh, always be checking this graph to know it is uh, what you're looking for and um, the other thing that uh, the other way you can control this is uh, if you come to delivery servers and then you can you come to update uh, and then you come to post after send so post after send uh, which is also another way that I would recommend uh, a person makes use of is how many after how long should an email be sent out so how it works is this is in microseconds so currently it's in 3 million microseconds so if you check microseconds uh, to minutes you see that is five minutes so what this means is an email is being sent out after every uh, five minutes after five minutes an email is sent out after every other five minutes an email is sent out so you can always control this um, uh, feature as well uh, to suit uh, your environment depending on how you want the increment to happen so that's how you warm up. I hope it's clear. If there's something that is not clear, you can always make a comment. And um, thank you for your time. See you next time.